Hey there guys, Buddy here. Let's go through all GIS concepts for your exam. Let's make it simple, clear and exam ready. GIS, Geographic Information System. This is a computer based system that is used to collect, store, analyze and display geographical data to support decision making. Now it is very important that you include these four keywords as that is what your examiner will look for in your definition. Hardware. This is the physical equipment, examples, computers and GPS devices that are used to run your GIS software. Software. This is the computer programs and applications that are used to process, analyze and display GIS data. Data. This is the geographical and descriptive information that is used within your GIS systems. These include observations made from monitoring the real world. Now the second part of this definition is the most important part. People. These are the users who collect, manage, analyze and interpret your GIS data. And examples of people would be pilots, town planners and scientists. Spatial data. This is information about the position, shape and location of features on Earth. Examples would be roads and rivers. Attribute data. This is descriptive data that provides more information about spatial features. Example, the name or population of a city. Database. This is an organized collection of data that can be easily accessed, managed and updated. It can also be described as an electronic filing system which will enable a person working with GIS to store, modify and retrieve information. Satellites. These are used to capture images and collect large-scale data from space for mapping and monitoring. Aerial photographs. These are images taken from an aircraft that will show detailed views of the Earth's surface. Field surveys. This is on-site collection of data using tools and direct observation. GPS. Global Positioning System. This is a satellite-based navigation system that is used to find exact locations on Earth. Remote Sensing. This is collecting information about the Earth's surface from a distance, usually using satellites or an aircraft. Resolution. The level of detail or clarity that data or an image shows. Vector data. Vector data represents geographical features using points, lines and polygons. Example will be a city as a point or a river as a line. Raster data. Raster data represents data as a grid of pixels or cells usually used for satellite images or aerial data. Spatial resolution. This refers to the level of detail in which a map shows characteristics of geographic features such as location and shape. Data input. This is the process of entering data into a GIS system. Data manipulation. This is changing or editing data into useful information for improved accuracy. Data analysis. This is studying or interpreting data to identify patterns and draw conclusions. Data output. This is presenting results in the form of maps, charts, tables or reports. Data integration. This is combining different sets of data from various sources into one map. Data acquisition. This is the process of collecting or gathering data to be used in GIS using either a primary or secondary source. Buffering. This is a line that is used to create a zone around a spatial feature. Example will be a 1 km buffer around a school to analyze its surroundings. Querying. This is asking the GIS specific questions to find targeted information. Examples will be all hospitals within 5 km of a highway. Entity. This will be a real world object or feature that is represented in a GIS. An example would be a road, river or building. Layering. This is organizing different types of data, examples, roads, rivers, land use on separate layers to analyze them together. And our last concept will be urban planning. And this is using GIS to plan locations for infrastructure like roads, schools and housing. 